In this video, we'll be taking a look at the MASH sequential kinking terminal, otherwise known as the MSKT. This is a MASH compliant terminal that's designed to be installed with the 31 inch midway splice guardrail system. The manufacturer's installation manual includes an installation checklist. If possible, try to have that checklist with you as we go through this video. We'll be taking a look at some of the important points on the checklist. The first thing to look at is to make sure that the rail height is in accordance with the manufacturer's recommendations. This is a 31 inch system as measured from finish grade to the top of the rail. And there is a one inch plus or minus tolerance. This is a tangent system. This example is installed at a zero offset, but it can be installed at up to a two foot offset. Make sure that all of the rails in the system are straight rails and that there are no curved rails installed. Make note of rail number one. Rail number one is not connected to post number one. Rail number one has a series of four inch slots. It's a 12 foot six inch rail because this is designed to attach to the midway splice system, rail number two is a shorter rail. This is a nine foot, four and a half inch rail that's designed to get the splice halfway between the posts. Alternatively, you could use a 15 foot, seven and a half inch rail, which would put the splice between the next two posts. Taking a look at post one and post two, Post number two has the hinge bolt installed on the downstream side away from the impact head. Post number one has the hinge bolt attached on the upstream side closest to the impact head. Make sure that at post one and at post two, the lower portion does not protrude more than four inches above finished grade. At post one, and again at post two, this should not exceed four inches above finished grade. Make sure that at post two, the open slots where the rail is attached to the post, make sure those are on the upstream side toward the impact head. Post number three and beyond are all standard guardrail posts. Note that post one and post two do not have offset blocks. However, from post three and beyond, offset blocks are required. The MSKT system is laid out so that all of the posts are at six foot three inches on center. Let's take a look at the impact head. The impact head is connected to post one at two locations. Make sure those connections are, are tight. Taking a look at the the bearing plate at the lower end of the cable. The five inch dimension should be oriented so that it is up, while the three inch dimension would be oriented closest to the ground level. Make sure that there is a retainer tie in place to help prevent the bearing plate from rotating. The cable should be taut. There should be no more than one inch of play in the cable. Take a look at the ground strut and make sure that it's connected at post one and post two. Finally, take a look at the cable anchor bracket. There should be eight cable anchor bracket shoulder bolts attached firmly to the rail. The cable anchor bracket should be seated firmly on the shoulders of those bolts with the open portion facing toward the impact head. That completes the checklist for the MSKT tangent terminal system. For more details, please refer to the manufacturer's installation manual. Make sure that you fully understand this system before you attempt to install it or inspect it. Thanks for watching.